Hi guys, today I just thought I would cover um, some ways to fix wind rowing when you're tedding. You know, if you're in dry conditions and you want to flip the crop, sometimes you end up with a scenario where uh, you start to wind row uh, the hay. So, a few tips on resolving that. One being uh, as you can see, max PTO RPM is 540. You know, a lot of guys will, will run their machine at 540, but actually with this tether, you wanna be between, as you can see here on the side, 350, 450. So the first thing I would recommend uh, if you're starting to see windrows behind your tether drop that pto rpm down um, if that doesn't solve your issue then the next thing you can do is adjust your height of your tires so pulling that pin here we have four selections, and we can raise this tether higher up off the ground. And what that allows us to do in that scenario is then to pitch the tether farther forward. So doing that, we get a greater broadcast angle, and hopefully we can spread the crop better so that we don't win row. If those two things don't work we have one last option we can do and on our tine arms here there's a uh, eccentric so typically uh, this would be used for as these tines wear you know they'll typically wear back here, you typically use this to advance the tines back 90 degrees to the arm. But what we can do here is advance these a little bit forward to hold the crop longer to try to prevent that wind rowing as well. Now, again, that's not ideal, and this is the last step because we have to you have to do this to all your arms. Typically, just dropping that PTO RPM down and maybe increasing your ground speed a little bit will resolve that problem. So, I hope you guys found this video useful and can get your issue there resolved. So, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.